Hey there, today I am testing out the Waze new dry shampoo foam. This product, unlike your regular old dry shampoo that you've probably inhaled a quarter of the bottle of, absorbs oil through foam. Comparing this to my current cheap aerosol dry shampoo, which contains 7 ounces, the Waze dry shampoo foam has 5.3 ounces. Let's not talk about the price because it pains me a little bit, but I can almost get 4 bottles of the Not Your Mother's dry shampoo while only getting one of the Waze. So quite frankly, I am expecting a lot from the Waze dry shampoo foam. Now to put this to the ultimate test, I did something I was very proud of. I worked out for the past 2 days and didn't wash my hair so I can get the most out of my scalp. And as you can see, this is gross, like that effing definition of G-R-O-S-S. -S. Like all dry shampoo, before using it, give it a nice quick shake and don't hurt yourself while opening the bottle like I did. First step, ladies, is to leave your man behind because you'll need to take off all your rings because this will get a little messy. Okay, I don't know why I look so petrified and worried here, but the texture is like shaving cream. It's very moussey, it's soft, and it also smells good. I approve of this scent. So rubbing the shaving cream, I mean dry shampoo, between your palms, just scrunch in the product and then your hair is supposed to look refreshed and clean and that was what I was expecting. So after a couple of minutes of scrunching it in, my hair still looks pretty oily and it didn't look that much cleaner at all. You can also see how messy this stuff can get as a lot of the product was stuck between my fingers. Now, I don't give up easily, so I'm going to give it another try by applying more. And that's what the direction says. It says if you need more, apply more. So again, I am scrunching in the product on my roots, you know, the super oily part. I'm sure you can tell from my facial expression how I feel about this product so far. So again, yeah, after a few more minutes of scrunching in the foam, I have finally concluded that my hair looks worse than before. It almost looks as if I came out from the shower and had like a mini hair washing session. It looks wet, basically. So like what Jen Atkins, the creator, says, let's get real. I had a ton of fallout while using this product, maybe because I didn't wash my hair. But second, there was some residue on my hands and my nails, and I can also feel it on my hands, so I definitely needed to wash them. I also tried to style my hair normally as I would after using my dry shampoo, but because my hair was just so oily, it looks flat and my bangs look so effed up. I ended up rinsing everything off because it was it just was not a good feeling. Overall, I would give this product a 1.5 out of 10. One for trying something new and renovating and the other 0.5 for giving me hope, although false, that I don't have to breathe in any more dry shampoo. Stick back to your regular old dry shampoo, save yourself some money because I would absolutely not recommend this product. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.